This is David, W-A-9-O-N-Y. I'm going to show how to use GQRX bookmarks. First of all, we'll show that we're doing this on a Raspberry Pi 4. And that Raspberry Pi 4 has 4 gigabytes of memory. We'll go ahead and reduce that. GQRX. We're using 2.11.5. This was loaded from the Raspberry Pi repository using the standard add remove programs in the GUI interface. Right now I've got the uh, receiver tuned to 144.390, which is the national APRS frequency in the United States. And turning up the volume. These are packets from various stations. So to add a bookmark, we go up to the icon that says Add Bookmark. We click on it. And we have some tags that were created. You can create new tags using this button. Since this is 2 meters, we'll click on that. And we'll type in capital A P R S and say OK. And that's it. We created a bookmark. Let's say we're off on a different frequency. Yeah, there's some activity down here. At, uh, I missed it. Slightly off. We're going to turn the speaker up. And since we've got squelch on, we're not hearing anything. Now, if you see the bookmark, make sure it changes to a finger. And if it changes to a finger, you can click on it. And we now jump to the bookmark. So that's how bookmarks work if we see it in the spectrum view here. We'll turn the sound down again. Now, to see it, or go to a bookmark that's not invisible. We go up to the uh, view and we're going to add bookmarks. And it has a variety. Now here's where the tags come useful. We're going to uncheck the untag and we're going to uncheck NOAA. So we can see that these are the two meter bookmarks that I've added for two meters. Now, let's go and go to a different part of the band, NOAA. So here we have three NOAA stations. And let's say the last one. If I want to go to that NOAA station, I double click on it. And there we are. We have jumped to the NOAA station. I kind of like to spread out the waterfall. So I'm going to zoom in. There we go. So here we are, KIG 98. Let's turn up the sound. Showers. Snow level 7,000 feet. West wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Okay, so that's our NOAA station. Now, if we wanted to go to another NOAA station, remember, we could just make sure it's a finger and it jumps. Much weaker station. And then let's keep going down, and here's the third node station. Roseburg, light rain. Temperature 59. Wind cold. Now, again, we can use this and say, well, let's pick and double click KIG 98. I notice the spectrum all jumped over. Now, if an easy way to get it back in center is make sure there's a four-way arrow and just kind of drag it so you can see it. So, we've got two ways. If you see the flag, make sure it's a finger and we can jump to it. If you're down here with the bookmark view, we double click on it to jump to it. So, that's how we use bookmarks. Now, we can modify bookmarks. We go ahead and click on this. Notice I now can change the frequency. 
or I click on this, I can change the call sign. I can pull down and change the mode that's been used and so forth. The other thing that can be done is if I don't like the bookmark, I can delete a bookmark here. So this is how you manage and change bookmarks or information about bookmarks that you want. All right, last point. Let's say you're on the internet and you see somebody who posted a bunch of bookmarks on GitHub. You've downloaded it and now your question, well, how do I get it in? Well, you don't want to spend all night typing. So that's where you need to know where the configuration file is. So we will go up and jump to our file manager, drag it in here. Now, the important thing is view, show hidden files, because this is going to be in a hidden file. A hidden file is a file or directory that starts with a dot. So here we have pi, which is the home directory for user pi, which is standard default for everybody. Very few people change it. Dot config, and then there is a, another directory, gqrx, and in here I have setups, and we have our bookmark file. It's a dot csv, common separated variable. Now, important thing is to edit this, use just a plain text editor. Don't use any fancy editor with formatting codes and things. So I've opened it up. Here's the tags up here at the top, indicating I have two meters and I have Noah. And here's how the frequency. So I would cut and would say copy and paste those stations in the other file and add them to this file, making sure that if any of them uses a new tag, I also copy and paste a tag here. So also, you can edit this file instead of editing it in the user interface. So I can just delete the, any of these or delete them all. But the important thing is once I save this file, you need to uh, stop the program and restart the program to see those changes. This is David. I have a playlist on SDR and Raspberry Pi. Welcome to you t take a look at it. There's over 30 some videos that relate to setting up the Raspberry Pi for SDR activity. 73 and QRT.